Okay, so this is the uh, true realism texture pack. As you can see, this has been updated 1.20, and wow, I must say, these texture packs, this texture with the fog looks really cool, like a really nice skybox, makes everything, also the paintings look really nice, like, this is really nice. Like, it's a little weird because they're not like Minecraft paintings, but overall, this is really nice. Like, these, I think most of these have variations, not all the blocks, but yeah, all these blocks are like very realistic looking, honestly. Look at that reinforced deep plate. This is a really nice texture bag, honestly. The glass also looks quite nice and transparent. The glazed terracotta looks absolutely amazing, not gonna lie. Uh, the ominous banner looks different. Um, overall, pretty solid texture bag, if I'm being honest. The skulk... Oh, that looks creepy, okay. Um, the fire looks pretty... Again, this is one word to describe this. It's very realistic. Um, the armors look amazing. Like, look at the detail on that. That looks cool. Same with the armor trims. The armor trims also look pretty nice, too. The flowers look really nice. Also, these do have uh, animated foliage as well. As you can see, it's animated, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, pretty nice. Some of the cherry trees updated. Um, got another portal and a portal, which looks really cool. Okay, that is absolutely terrifying. Fuck off. Yeah, the mobs. Okay, the mobs look actually cursed. Like the villager. No, this is just. This is just not okay. This is too realistic, guys. The spiders. Oh my god. Okay. No. 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 That strider looks like. Oh my god. Okay, this is not okay, guys. Hmm. Don't like that at all. Really hate that. Don't like how realistic the hogwing feels. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, they, the word is actually terrifying. Oh my god. Really hate that. Oh, that looks creepy. I don't like that. But yeah, overall, pretty realistic texture pack. Okay, so this is the uh, steampunk mushroom, the texture pack, whatever to fucking call it. Uh, this is not being updated 1.20 for some fucking reason. So everything is basically basically made into steampunk, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, uh, all the blocks are very like fantasy. Okay, these are kind of weird actually. Like, um, this isn't a very good texture pack. Like I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't use it in survival. Like, first of all, you can see the grass has like this really weird pattern. Uh, the glazed target. I don't know why that looks like that. It's very weird. Everything looks kind of mechanical, I guess. Like, okay, the netherrack looks kind of like flesh, which is weird. I don't like that. Um, I think that's skulk. Okay, the skulk kind of fits, actually, because it's like mechanical. Uh, overall, pretty interesting texture pack, I'm not gonna lie. The armor trims are not... Okay, the armors look kind of weird. Again, I don't know why the armors are not 32 bit by 32 bits. I don't know if that's like a restriction of the texture pack or something, but it's kind of strange. Uh, you got trees, now these uh, spruce uh, logs are animated, which I think is kind of cool. This is like a mechanical tree. Yeah, like, look at that. The logs are, like, uh, made of, like, gears. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, this looks weird because this looks a little bit like flesh or something. I don't know why this looks like tentacles. The nether portal looks kind of cool. Now, the mobs are all kind of, like, mechanical. Like, look at these guys. They're, they look so weird. Yeah, these this these these look weird actually. Oh god, the hug looks kinda creepy. Oh the pigman actually has a nice mustache though. Oh the warden looks kinda cool though. Yeah, the axe subtle, glow squid. Yeah, overall pretty interesting texture pack. Okay, so this is the Alien World texture pack. This would fit really well for space, for like a space theme, I guess. Like Look at these paintings. Warning, parasites. You are going to fucking know. Look at this. Human destruction versus uh, what humans want the world to be. The human... Okay, I'm, I'm going to shut up now. But yeah, this is a pretty nice texture pack if you want to build the space things. And you can see the skybox is like a very different color. And all the biomes are different colors as well. Overall, pretty cool texture pack. You got the ores, you got the glass. The shulker boxes look pretty cool. You got a pretty cool UI too. Oh, the glazed terracotta are like the spaceship parts. The ominous banner. Oh wow! Join us or perish. That's a little grim. Um. Whoa. Okay. I don't like the skulk shrieker being a jaw like that. That's creepy. Yeah. Everything looks kind of alien. Okay. The, the armors. Pretty cool. Oh. Okay. The trims are. The trims haven't really been changed much. Oh. The temporary parts are like very different. Actually, they're like white. 
The plants look super alien looking. Like, look at these. These are so weird. We've got the trees, which all have very different colors from what you, each other. Like, the cherry tree is red. Or like, magenta, I guess. Uh, crimson fungus? Pretty nice. Uh, oh my god, look at the Ravager. Oh wow, wait, these are really weird. Oh my god, the gas is a UFO. The sniffer is a capybara, I think. What is- okay, the camel looks so cursed. Oh, they have weird noises, too. Wait, they have like mechanical noises, what the fuck? Oh god, these look like parasites. Which I guess makes sense, but wow, these are... I don't like these. Okay. Oh, what is that? Is it... Oh, the picking looks like an alien. Oh, that's weird. Okay, what is the... Oh, whoa! Wait, that is cool. Oh, the glow screen is a new model. Yeah, overall, okay, pretty good texture pack. It's good texture pack if you like space. Okay, so this is the Sonic texture pack. This texture pack is really cool because it's like very retro. This has been updated to 1.20 as you can see. It's got the new blocks. It's got a bunch of like Sonic paintings, which I think are really cool. Like this, the Tails doll doing the scream. All the beds have like Sonic symbols on them. Overall, this is a pretty cool texture pack. Oh, look at the command blocks actually. That's pretty nice. We got all the ores, the colored blocks, the concretes, shulker boxes, glazed terracotta candles, natural blocks, you got skulk sensor, you got the decorate pots, which actually are really cool. Like all these look like they have symbols from like a Sonic character. And then the armor trims. The armor trims don't look that different, honestly. They just kind of have different chaos emeralds, I think. The armors are really cool though, because they're like three models. Overall, Sonic texture pack, pretty cool. Like, look at the plants. I love the sunflower because they're like they're from Green Hill Zone. Then we got the trees. The trees actually look okay. Like everything looks very cartoonish, kind of like. I really do like this this texture pack. It's very cool if you like Sonic. And this texture pack also has a lot of cool models for some of the mobs. Like, look at the guard. Look at the Ravager and look at the polar bear. Like, these are super cool. Look at the gas. Look at the iron golem. The sniffer. The the Gelder Guardian. Yeah, these are pretty wild. Oh my god, is that Knuckles? The Kidna. Look at that, the Warden is Chaos. The Axolotls. The Glow Squid. Oh, look at that, that is cool. Yeah, honestly, this is a pretty cool texture pack. Okay, so this is the Minecraft PP uh, Bold Vanilla texture pack. This texture pack is kind of lazy. Uh, it's really designed for PP. Because a lot of these texture packs, I mean, the PvP texture packs are really designed for PvP. Like, they're not designed for building. Like, I would never use this texture pack for building. Like, it's just super ugly. Like, why is the trap chest so bright orange? Some of these blocks generally don't even look that different. Like, this is a very badly rated texture pack, in my opinion. Like, I would, I, would, I mean, okay, the ores, they're, like, animated. I guess that's useful. This is, like, the plastic texture pack, but, like, worse. Because it's, like... It makes this like 30. In fact, I think this is a 32 bit texture pack. Okay, the water is very strange looking. I don't. The decorated pots are not changed. Like, the armor, I don't know why netherite is red. It's kind of weird. Like, the armor trims aren't even changed. That's so fucking lame. Like, it's kind of lazy. It's not the best texture pack. Okay, I don't know why the spruce leaves are red. The skybox is also kind of like. A, doesn't really fit the theme. Like, this looks like it was quickly made in paint. Like, this just. Look at the vines. It looks like they just... Ugh. The cherry tree isn't even changed. Like, this is the same texture. Like, it's just... There's nothing... Like, look at this. It's like... Ugh, it's ugly. Like, I guess you'd be using this for PvP, but, like... At least put a little bit more effort. Like... Yeah, not a very good texture pack. Okay, so this is the plastic texture pack. As you can see, this is one of the OG texture packs. It has been updated to 1.20 for some reason, not the other ones. So yeah, everything is basically like plasticky. I quite like this. This is actually like one of the few good texture packs for like a minimalistic design. It's basically like the bare bones texture pack, but like better. 
Well, yeah, I guess. And, like, for example, the ores look like dominoes. I don't know why. It's just very, very simplistic patterns. I really like them. The glazed terracotta, they just... 4J was lazy, and they said, fuck it. And they just reused the same texture. Same with the fire. I don't know why the fucking fire isn't different. But, uh, whatever. This has been updated to 1.20, which I think is kind of cool. Um, most of these blocks... I mean, I guess these are kind of cool, but there's not much to say about them. They're just cubic. Like, the armor trims are the same, but, like, cubic. Did they create pots? These look, I guess, the same, but, like, more cubic. As you can see, the grass has, like, no pattern. Oh. Yeah. I do like the leaves, though. The leaves look kind of cool. It's like that other cons uh, that other texture pack that we saw earlier. So, yeah, this has uh, the 1.20 textures, which I think is good. Um, so, yeah, the mobs are just basically the same. They just have one solid color. It's like the, the mobs that you see in the Minecraft trailers or promotional material, which is cool if you like that. Actually, the sniffer looks a little interesting. Um, so you can see the hoglin. Basically, like, look at that. They just have no texture. They're just flat. Like, that, that's just completely flat. There's, like, no detail. Like, look at the grass. There's, like, I can't even tell. Yeah, it's it's very flat. Okay, so this is the pattern texture pack. It is very colorful. And unfortunately, it has not been updated for, for 1.20 yet, which I don't know why. Yeah, this is very, very colorful. Like, it's kind of hurting my eyes right now because there's just so many colors going on. I don't know why you'd want to use this texture pack in a normal survival world. I don't... Like, this fit, This doesn't feel like it would fit any style of builds. Like, I'm, it's... Like, look at the red. It's just... It's, like, saturated to the max. Like, it's generally kind of hurting my eyes. Like, it's just... Okay, the fire does look kind of cool. Oh, man, my eyes are really starting to hurt right now. And the more I look at this, the more it's giving me a headache. Um, wow, okay, the netherite does look kind of cool. These look... Okay, this is texture pack. It's just too colorful. Like, I would not recommend this texture pack for anyone. Because it's just... There's too much detail. Like, there's so much... It's too overwhelming. Like, what is this? Oh, man. There's just so many different... I guess it's called the pattern texture pack, but like... Oh, oh my money. Oh my god, why does he look like that? I guess, okay, yeah, the mobs look like they're stitched together. Yeah, these, they all have, like, cool patterns, I guess. Okay, the hoglin looks good. Right. The piglin, piglin boot. The warden does actually look kind of cool, though. The axe level. Okay, I like that red axe level, though. Oh, I don't like their eyes. Yeah, these, this texture pack is not really that good. It really does hurt your eyes. Okay, so this is the modern texture pack. Everything is quite modern. It doesn't change the UI. I do like how all, all the blocks have been modernized. Like, these honestly look really cool. These are really cool for, like, building modern houses, I guess. I mean, that's the entire point of the texture pack, is to build modern houses. And honestly, some of these blocks look really nice. Like, I could totally see myself building with these blocks. Like, look at the glazed terracotta. These look super cool. The tr pointed dripstone. Like, honestly, pretty good touch back. Like, I like how the armors have crotch protections. I think that's very important to protect your crotch. Um, though, the frog lights look really cool. The prismarine looks like bathroom tiles. The amethyst looks very sharp. The plants look pretty nice. The armor trims look, I mean, I guess they look okay. The trees look very vibrant and colorful. Like, I think the ones that are striking is the acacia and dark oak. Very, very striking. The cherry is, like, white for some reason. Not sure why. This is, like, an autumn tree. This is... Oh, I actually quite like this. Uh, this is opaque and portal frame. These... Some of these do have custom models, which I think is kind of cool. So they've all been kind of, like, city-fied. So it's, like, a little bit like the city texture pack, in a way. A little bit similar to that. And then we have Hoglin, which has mustache, which is kind of cool. These guys also look like they're kind of cool. Kind of menacing. I actually like the chest. Axe levels, glow squids. So yeah, this is a pretty nice modern texture pack. Okay, so this is the full of life texture pack. It's a 64 by 64 texture pack. It actually looks pretty realistic. Like, some of these actually do look pretty cool. There's a lot of detail going on. We really don't have the time to review everything, but if you want to see the full review, you can check out my official video. This is just a quick rundown of all the blocks, which honestly look pretty fucking nice. Like, got the ores. The spawn eggs look like little DNAs, which I think is cool. They got the 
terracotta, you got the angry villager. I know it's called the illager. Cactus is literally just a real life PNG. Now that looks creepy. Oh, the fire looks pretty cool. The coral, again, a lot of these textures just look very photorealistic. Like this is literally just a pitcher plant. The decorated pots. Now the armors. Mm. I don't like what they did for the trims because you can't tell what material this is made of. So some of these are just straight up like copy pasted images. I swear to God, like there's not, there's there's like barely any difference. I do like the dripstone though. And you got the trees, which look kind of. I like the spruce leaves a lot. Uh, jungle leaves, acacia, dark oak, mangrove, cherry. Cherry looks quite nice. Mushrooms, fungus, nether portal, uh, mobs. Now, some of these look kind of cursed. Uh, the ghast is fucking terrifying. Yeah, most of these look fucking cursed. Uh, I got the hoglin. Uh, that looks terrifying. Piglin. Uh, piglin root. Warden. Which, oh my god, look at that. Axe turtles. Glow squid and squid. Okay, that looks really creepy. I do not like that. Yeah, overall, this texture pack is good for giving your game a life. And so this is the natural texture pack. This is personally my favorite texture pack because it's like, it actually keeps the original uh, textures of the paintings but makes the resolution higher so you can actually see what some of these are supposed to be, sort of. Like, you still can't, but if you look far away enough, you can see what they are. And honestly, this texture pack is pretty nice. Like, the doors look really nice. It's been updated to 1.20. The trees look pretty realistic. The stone as well looks really nice. Like, honestly, overall, pretty solid texture pack. Like, out of all the classic texture packs from console edition, I think natural and plastic are probably one of the two best texture packs. Because this one looks really nice, honestly, like the concrete. Now it does have the old colors of blocks, I forgot to mention. And the fire looks really nice too. The leaves, pretty pretty decent texture pack, honestly. Uh, the suspicious sand and suspicious gravel, yeah, they look a little too similar to each other. The crops are bright, bright green because this is based on the old uh, texture pack, like the, the original texture pack. The decorated pots look kind of nice. Now the armors, again, I don't know why they're 16 pixels. The netherite looks almost the same, but yeah, the armor trims, yeah, I guess they're, okay, this is definitely the rib armor trim. You got the flowers, I like the sunflower, mm, yeah, I think this is a nice texture pack. This is definitely one of my few favorite texture packs, like if I were to make it a tier list of the classic texture packs, this would be an S tier texture pack, just because of the way it looks. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's really nice. Like, look at that anime texture, that looks cool. Uh, you got the mobs, okay, the Ravager, mm, I don't like how wrinkly he looks. Yeah, some of these mobs look a little bit too creepy, like, the sniffer looks kinda cool, he's got, like, leaves on his back. Yeah, these look, these look pretty realistic. I guess they look more natural. The Hoglin. Yeah, the piglin. Just, the piglin look, 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 look exactly the same. Now, the warden is a little disappointing. I, I wish the warden didn't look the same and had like a different design. Yeah, this looks like the same texture pack actually. Yeah, overall, I like this texture pack. Okay, so this is the fantasy texture pack. Uh, this is kind of like the natural texture pack, but like way too. Like I don't like this texture pack at all. There's too much gold and it's got too many black outlines around the items. Like there's just. There's too much gold. Like, I guess it's supposed to be, like, royal and shit like that, but personally, I don't like this. Okay, whoa, the micro boss looks kind of cool, though. Like, the, the the gold really does... Like, there's just too much... Okay, the glowstone does look kind of cool. But, yeah, there's too much gold everywhere. For my liking. Like, the ores... I mean, I guess it's a, it's a decent texture pack if you want to build, like, fantasy builds, but... Like, look at the glazed terracotta just looks exactly the same, but with 32-bit textures. Um, yeah, overall, it's not... a it's not a good texture pack, like, the decorated pots look kind of cool, though. They're, like, simplistic. The armors, I mean, I don't know why the armors are 16 pixels, it's super weird. Like, I feel like this limits their their possibilities, or creativity, it's weird. Uh, the plants, like, you can see everything has, like, this black outline around it. I don't know, I don't really like that. But, okay, which one's suspicious? Okay, literally, what is suspicious? Which one is the suspicious sand? They're basically the same. That's not a good in a texture pack. We got the trees, which, okay, look kind of nice. Um, the cherry tree, mushrooms, fungus, nether portal, end portal. Okay, the ravager looks fucking cursed. Don't like that at all. Oh, yeah, some of these are really disturbing. Okay, I don't know why the sniffer looks like that. I don't know what the sniffer's supposed to be. I think the, oh, wow, these are actually quite cursed. The hoglin looks green. I don't know why. 
these are supposed to be like... Oh, that's weird. I don't know why they look like that. Okay, the world looks kind of cool. He's got like armor on. Our axolotls look interesting. Yeah, overall, not a very good texture pack. Okay, so this is the Faithless texture pack. It's very, very similar to Vanilla. Uh, honestly, this is actually a pretty nice texture pack. I love how the spawn eggs look like this. I think it's really cool. You got these really cool paintings, which have references to memes, the classic wallpapers. You got Rick Astley as well. That's pretty awesome. You got Fallen Kingdom. You got the mob vote. Yeah, and these actually do have double slab variations, which I think is kind of cool. All the wood. Some of these do have block variations, so that's cool. You got the command blocks. Really cool blocks. Now, I don't know why the uh, brick texture is the exact same as vanilla. A little bit ugly. Then you got the glass textures. Now, the glass texture looks really ugly. I do not like that glass texture. Um, you got the cars fruit. You got the cactus. Skulk sensor. Fire coral. Uh, all these new blocks, which look kind of nice. You got the armors, which actually look pretty cool. Like I like the golden armor. You got the decorated pots, and all the flowers. You got the trees, which all look kind of the same as vanilla. The mangrove roots look pretty nice. You got the cherry tree. You got the, the fungus, the mobs. The mobs actually look pretty cool. Like I like how the mushrooms have mycelium on top of them. I think that looks pretty cool. And now we got the hoglin. Piglin, which look like the ones from Fallen Kingdom. Piglin, which has like an empty chest. Axolotls, Glow Squid, and Glow Squid. And yeah, overall, this is a pretty nice texture pack. Okay, so this is the Simply Cube texture pack. So this texture pack is like the plastic texture pack, but like makes everything kind of cubic. Uh, the paintings honestly look kind of nice. I like this creeper one. I like this one. Like this one actually looks pretty cool. These paintings honestly look super cool. Um, what is that? That's a square. Um, <clears throat> you got the blocks. Everything is super minimalistic, essentially. Like, it's just like the OCD texture pack, essentially. Which, honestly, this is kind of cool if you want, like, that really minimalistic Minecraft style. But personally, I don't really like this style. Because I think it's a little bit too simplistic. Now, fire does look kind of cool, though. Like, I guess you can see what each of these things are supposed to be. But, personally... I wouldn't use this texture pack unless I'm like going for a very specific. Like, look at the suspicious signs, suspicious scrabbler. Like, can you tell the difference? Is this budding amethyst or is this amethyst? I can't tell. They're they're too similar to each other. Um, like, there's not really much to comment on. They're just the exact same textures but with different pixels. Like, there's just there really isn't that. Like, look, the cherry tree is just pink leaves. Like, it's just it's not a lot of variation. It's almost like a domino. Everything, everything has just been simplified. This is like Minecraft in the future, where everything's gonna be super simplified. I sure hope that's actually not what's gonna happen. Like, like it's just, yeah, this texture pack is way too simplified. Okay, so this is the conquest texture pack. This is one of my personal favorites te texture packs. As you can see, the boats are changed. Which, oh my god, these look super cool. Like, this texture pack, honestly, is a top-tier texture pack, just because of the, the level of detail, and also the variations in some of these blocks. Like, you see, they, the slabs do have new variations when you stack them on top of each other. Like, the crimson wood, okay, that is cool. Like, look at that, it's like a skeleton face. It looks really cool. The command blocks, whoa. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, every, like, this is like a very realistic, rustic texture pack. So it's very good for building medieval builds. As you can see, all the stained glass is really cool. The shulker boxes look like barrels, which I think is kind of creative. The panners also look really nice. Again, I really like this one. This the glazed terracotta has like an animated texture. Well, wow, man, this is such a cool texture pack. Like, I'm actually really happy about this texture pack, and I would recommend buying this texture pack. Like, look at the decorated pots. They look super cool. The armors as well. And the armor trims. Like, look at that. The armor trims make the... Like, look at this one. It's like super cool. Same with the plants, like everything in this is just amazing looking. Very, very cool. Got the trees, which look really nice. I, uh, the pale color, I don't know. The, you can see they have variations, as you can see. Really nice mangrove tree. Cherry tree, pretty nice as well. Uh, this looks quite disgusting. This looks like bones. 
Okay, the polar bear for some reason is a black bear. Oh my god, that is super creepy. Oh dear, I do not like that. Oh my god. I forgot how terrifying some of these mobs look. Like, the, the sniffer looks does not look cute. Oh my god, yeah, these are... These are cursed. Yeah, no, these are these are fucking cursed. Oh, look at the strider. Oh my god, no, these are cursed. Look at that. Oh, the piglin looks weird. I don't like that. The warden is terrible. Oh Look at this. Oh, the axolotls look really creepy too. The glow squid and the squid. Okay, these actually look. These look pretty cool. Yeah, pretty good texture pack. Okay, so these are the classic textures. This is the textures before 1.14. So we're going to do a general flyby, so these are all the blocks, you got all the paintings, stone blocks, you pause, the ores look really fucking ugly, this texture pack honestly sucks, like look at the glass, it's honestly fucking terrible, like, some of these textures, like look at the leaves, the, the netherrack is just so ugly, and yeah, all the 1. what 17 blocks have not been updated, this is like literally butter, so yeah, none of the new pots or armor trims have been updated, the old plants, Really fucking ugly, like, Jesus Christ, bad texture pack. Like, I don't know why you would play with the old textures, especially, like, look at the mobs. Like, these just look quite bad. So we got Hoglin. Okay, wait, these don't actually count. I, these don't count apart from the squid. So yeah, that's the, the classic texture pack. Okay, so this is the city texture pack. As you can see, everything has been turned to a city. This is... These paintings are pretty cool. This is one of the classic Minecraft texture packs. Um, honestly, this is kind of a cool texture pack because it's good for like modern building. It's kind of like the modern texture pack, but like more, I guess, better because this was the first one to, that came out. Um, so yeah, I say this is a little similar to the natural texture pack, but basically everything has been turned, has been cityified. Like for example, look at this. This is kind of funny. The coarse tree is a fire, like as a uh, stop sign. Uh, the skulk, this is definitely supposed to signify the death of humanity. Um, the fire, for some fucking reason, has not been changed. Like, that's been changed, but that one hasn't. Who knows? The decorated pots are made of black and gold, which actually look kind of cool. Like, I actually like the decorated pots. Now, the armors are kind of cool. Now, the armor trims, I think they're trying to go for, like, different designs of clothing, which I think is kind of cool. Um, honestly, for them, okay, these look kind of okay. Which one is suspicious and which one's not? Yeah, they're basically the fucking same. Um, the trees, I don't know why the oak leaves look really dark. Yeah, the, the tree leaves look a bit too dark in this texture pack for my liking, but yeah, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and one thing I do like is the mobs. As you can see, some of the mobs look like vehicles. Like the Ravager is a vehicle, the Sniffer is a vehicle as well, the Strider as well. I think these are kind of cool. Like, some of them look like they're city-themed, right? Okay. Yeah, good. Like, the villager is wearing a business suit. The zombie is wearing... Like, look at that. that that's kind of funny. And the hoblin is also a vehicle. He's like an excavator. The piglin has a construction hat. Uh, we got a black piglin. That's interesting. And we got the robot, which is a robot. The axolotl. Glow squid and the squid. Yeah, honestly, this is a pretty nice texture pack. Okay, so this is the Chroma Hills texture pack. This has not been updated to 1.20 yet, which is fucking annoying. But yeah, this is like the Pure BD texture pack. It's got a lot of detail, like, oh, wow. Like, a lot of detail. I like this effect that looks like a kind of like a cloth canvas. Very, very nice paintings, honestly. Like, there's... Again, if you, like, pause the video and, like, look really closely, you can see all the individual pixels that make this up. That is cool. Like, oh wow, look at the canal locks. Okay, that is cool. I like that a lot. Very nice texture pack. Like, look at the ores. Like, they look like they have like real gemstones inside them. All the stained glass has really, really cool patterns. Oh, look at the ominous banner. That's cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool texture pack, honestly. Like, it's a shame that it wasn't updated to 1.20 because I feel like those look like oranges, actually. I feel like this definitely has a lot of potential because it looks really cool. Like, look at the oh, wow, the iron bars and the iron door. Really nice. 
Oh, the netherite looks really cool. Like, look at the detail on that. Like, that is, that is cool. Same with, like, the flowers. Like, look at the sunflower, for example. The trees look really nice. Okay, these, I don't like the spruce leaves. They look a little bit weird. In fact, yeah, the spruce leaves don't make a whole lot of sense. Um, the mangrove fruits look really cool. The mushroom, wow, the mushrooms look really nice. Uh, this looks cool as well. Now, the mobs are fucking terrifying. Uh, the Ravager looks really cool. The Illagers look absolutely cursed. Like, that guy has a big ass out of nose. The Ghast looks like he's about to murder a child. Um, actually, all these mobs look fucking creepy. Okay, I do not like that. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Fucking terrifying, bro. Like, that looks terrifying. The Hoglin looks like it has animal eyes. Okay, I don't like the Pigman. Uh, the Warden is absolutely terrible. Oh my god, that is terrible. Oh, don't like that. Oh, the Glow Squid has an eye. Why does he have one eye? That's weird. But yeah, this is a really cool texture pack. Okay, so this is the festive texture pack. As you can see, everything is very festive. This texture pack is only useful if it's festivities. So if you're playing it, like if you're using this texture pack when it's not Christmas, you're very strange. And this texture pack is actually really bad to play with because like, this only really works with the mashup pack world if I'm being honest. Like, it's just, these blocks are so weird. Like what am I even looking at right now? This is, oh, it's so weird. Like, the armors are just, like, Christmas characters, I guess. Um, yeah, this texture pack really, really hurts. Like, it's, the grass is just really ugly. Like, everything has just been covered in snow. It's just, like, why does this exist? And the vines are animated, which I think is cool. This brown mushroom looks really fucking ugly. Like, I, I, okay, the one thing I do like is that each of the mobs have, like, little Christmas sweaters or hats. Like, look at the Ravager, he's wrapped in presents. It's actually really funny. The Blaze is literally blue, which is kind of similar to the Breeze. But overall, this texture pack is kind of cool for Christmas, I guess. Not really for anything else. We got the Harlan. Piglin, which has like a red nose, which is funny. The Word? Okay, the Word is kind of cool. He's got like a Christmas sweater. Same with the little axe they have Christmas sweaters. And the Squids as well, they also have Christmas sweaters. So yeah, this texture pack only really is useful during Christmas. Okay, so this is the uh, creator pack texture pack. Now, I would like to call this the faithless uh, texture pack because it essentially is faithless. These paintings are a little bit goofy. You got the man, you got the woman. This is a pretty... Again, this is like literally just vanilla, but with 32 pixels. Like, I, there's not really much to comment on here, you know? It's the same textures, but with added pixels. Like, what, what am I meant to comment on? It's just, I guess it's interesting to have more resolution, but they're they're just the same. This is like Faithless, but on the marketplace for, for paid. It's like Faithless, but you have to pay for it. Like, these are all the same, but just more pixels. There's not really anything unique going on with this texture pack. It's just, like, it's good, I guess, if you want, like, a higher resolution, but... I mean, it is kind of nice. This, I think, was one of the few first texture packs that I bought, I remember, in the marketplace. And it was updated to 1.20, which is kind of cool. We got the mobs. Okay, the sea turtle does look different. Uh, most of them look exactly the same. The gas looks really fucking cursed. Uh, got the hoglin. Pigman. Pigman do. Also, the sun is circle. The one has the same texture, but like high resolution. Same with this and this, like they're the same. So yeah, this is just vanilla, but with 32 pixels. Okay, so this is the cartoon texture pack. As you can see, everything is like 32 bit by 32 bit. It's very cartoony. It's got lots of references to cartoon characters, like Bugs Bunny, for example. Uh, yeah, this texture pack really isn't useful for survival because, like, why the fuck would you use this? Like, look at this door. It looks like it was made in MS Paint. I guess it's supposed to be goofy, <laughs> goofy, goofy. But like, it's just like, bruh, what is this texture pack? Like, why would you use this? It's such a bad texture pack. Generally, like, I would not use this texture pack for my survival world. It's just, it's there's too many bright colors, and it's just like, for example, if you look at the swords and tools, like, these are just so fucking confusing. It's, it's really confusing. Like, this texture pack is just not good for survival. 
It's it's really weird. And it hasn't even been updated to 1.20 for some fucking reason. Like, who knows why it's, it hasn't been updated. Like, look at these armors. Like, what is... The, is this netherite? Is this gold? Which one's netherite? Which one's leather? I cannot fucking tell. There's no way fucking knowing. Bad texture pack. I get it's supposed to be, like, cartoonish. But, like, you should at least be able to tell what armor is which. Because if not, then it's kind of annoying. Now, I do like the mob designs. I think... Okay, this looks kind of cursed. These all look kind of goofy. I mean, it's literally a cartoon texture pack. Uh, yeah. These all look kind of... They have, like, these really goofy eyes. That's blood. Um, the hogman looks kind of angry. I don't know why. The piglin looks like the three little pigs, I guess. This guy's angry. He's got... Okay, that is actually terrifying. I don't like that. Close... I mean, yeah. The squirts are just color swapped. So, yeah. Very goofy texture pack. Okay, so this is the candy texture pack, which luckily has been updated to 1.20, so that's good. Every okay, this is not a texture pack you want to use in Israel because it makes everything fucking confusing. Like, what is this? This is grass. These are logs. Everything looks edible, and I guess if you want diabetes, then this texture pack is for you. Um, like, generally, I cannot tell what any of these blocks are. Like, these are super colorful. God, my eyes hurt. Um, the glazed terracotta. Looks the same, but I think more saturated, so that's nice. They changed the saturation of a block. Congratulations. The fire at least looks different. Like, that just looks like a higher saturated color. Yeah, most of these look kind of cool. The cherry leaves and the sniffer egg. Okay, cool. Yeah, these look kind of interesting, actually. I think this, the armor trims look... I think they're trying to make them look like candy or coverings, like toppings. The decorated pots look kind of cool, I guess. Uh, same with the... Okay, the plants are just candies. Like, that is just a chocolate bar. Uh, the trees are also made of candy, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, the cherry tree is kind of cool because this looks like an autumn tree, which I really like. Um, the warped and crimson fungus. Now, all the mobs are basically full of candy. Like, these look kind of funny, actually. Like, the sniffer looks like he's made of pancakes. Yeah, and these, these actually do look kind of cool. The hoglin, piglin, the boots, uh, axe levels, which look... Okay, they look... Okay, yeah, they're different colors. Oh my god, wow. I think these are candy dispensers. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, not a texture pack I would recommend for survival. Okay, so these are the better default textures. This is, like, very similar to vanilla textures, but basically improved. Now, I do like these paintings, honestly. These actually look pretty cool. I do wish we had more paintings in Minecraft that actually showed the Minecraft landscape. Like, this is pretty cool. Um, honestly, this is very similar to vanilla, it's just that there's, like, some tweaks. Like, you can see the hot bar has, like, little numbers. I personally really like that. Ooh, look at the sandstone, that looks quite nice. Very nice textures, honestly. The command blocks are basically the same, same with the structure blocks. Not much difference over here. Uh, ore blocks? Emerald ore looks pretty similar. I think these also have variations. This definitely has block variations, as you can see from the grass. The glass block looks quite similar. Again, this is basically, like, the, uh... This is like the vanilla texture pack, but like better. And honestly, I do kind of like the grass having variations. I think, ooh, the pitcher plant looks nice. The decorated pods are essentially the same. Like I, now I don't know if this is a bug, but the armor trims are all gray, which is weird. The armors look essentially the same, but just like with more gradients, I guess. Like I, I generally cannot really tell the difference between this and the vanilla texture pack. It's just like very slightly different. Same with the, like, can you tell the difference between this, this and normal? Okay, the birch leaves have autumn leaves, which is cool. Dark oak looks exactly the same, but like slightly different colors. Uh, I think the vines have different textures as well. Oh, the cherry trees also have variations, it seems. Um, nether portal looks the same. Most of the mobs look the same, but like have more, I guess, detail. Okay, I don't like that. Uh, the guardian looks a little bit creepy. Uh, the gas is covered in mycelium, or like, warps mycelium, or crimson my mycelium. The hoglin, basically the same. Like, okay, this is the same, right? This is literally the same. These are literally the same mobs. They're just like some extra pixels. So yeah, this is like a better version of vanilla. Okay, so this is the pure BD texture pack. This is a 132 by 32 texture pack. It's got a lot of detail, actually. Okay, this the, okay. This has not been updated to 1.20 yet, which is a fucking shame. This has to be updated to 1.20. Come on, guys. Update to 1.20. Pretty cool paintings, actually. They're like comic book style. I really like the paintings. Like, there's a lot of resolution going on here. I guess that's what happens when you add more pixels. But, like, 
there's a lot of detail. Like, if you looked really closely, you could see a lot of detail. Oh, wow, look at the command blocks. They have, like, gears. This is a really cool texture pack. This also comes with, like, a UI. Wow, look at the glowstone. Oh, this is a really nice texture pack. In fact, this is one of the original Minecraft texture packs, which is really cool. Whoa, look at the ominous banner. Yeah, this is one of the OG Minecraft texture packs. So, the fact that it was ported on here is pretty cool. So, yeah, it's been updated since to 1.17, I think. So, it hasn't been updated at 1.20, unfortunately, which is really a shame because these honestly look really cool. Like, look at the armor. Like, wow, these look super cool. There's, like, a lot of detail in these. Like, if you look really closely, right, you can see every individual pixel. But it's it's really, really impressive, actually, the level of detail that this has. Uh, nether portal, end portal, wow. Okay, the Ravager looks fucking terrifying. Some of these have a different sound effect. Like, I think one of the Illagers has a different sound effect. Um, yeah, for the most part, these do look kind of weird and creepy. Uh, yeah, they look creepy, because with the Hoglin, it looks kind of creepy, actually, I don't like that. Okay, the Hoglin's basically naked. I'm not gonna lie, but he's kind of hot. Yeah, I don't- I kind of do regret saying that. Okay, that was absolutely terrifying, I do not like that. Uh, uh, that's a little uncanny. Glow squid- okay, that is very creepy. And yeah, this is like one of the- okay, wait, whoa. Oh, that's blood. Okay, that's not good. So yeah, this is one of the classic texture packs of Minecraft. Okay, so this is the backroom texture pack. This is kind of a badly made texture pack, honestly. Like, not. Like, you can see it's not made in the best shape. Like, most of these look like they were just color swapped. Like, the paintings, I guess they're okay. Okay, that is fucking terrifying. Um. Like, this just feels like a very goofy texture pack, you know? It doesn't feel like a serious texture pack. Like, obviously, you would want to use this in, like, a regular survival world, unless you're, like, specifically building a backrooms map, which, okay, that's that's cool, I guess. Like, most of these look really ugly. I only bought this because it was on sale. Like, most- like, look at this. It's just- like, the, the- this one hasn't even been changed. It's just like... It just looks like a color swap. Like, the fire just looks like it was just took- taken in Photoshop and just made darker. It's just- It's not the best texture bag, honestly. It's really not. So, most of these just look like they're just darkened color versions. I think the dark- the pots look different, actually. Like, the armors are just backroom entities, like, I guess. Yeah, not the best texture pack. Uh, like, everything, it just reminds me a little bit of the, like, look at that, the trims haven't been updated. This reminds me of the Fallout Mesh pack, because everything looks like it's been, like, like, they can see the grass is darker, like, look at this. This is the same texture, but just darkened. Like, straight up. There's no difference between this and the original. Like, it's just the same texture, but, like, darkened. Yeah. Now, I will say, there are some pretty cool mob models. As you can see, this is a camel. Yeah, that's that's a pretty. Also, the sniffer. I, I appreciate the effort that was put for some of these mobs. Like some of these do have custom models, as you can see, which I actually do kind of like. Okay, that's creepy. Yeah, some of these do actually have custom models, which I, I do appreciate. So, problem. Like most of these are just creepy versions. Okay, the garden looks cool though. Like that actually looks cool. Okay, the axe little has been changed, mutated in a very horrific way. Like, it's, it's just giving creepy faces onto mobs. Not the best texture pack. Okay, so this is the Afresh texture pack. Uh, this is a 30, 16 by 16 texture pack, I think. And it's basically like a texture pack that adds custom animations to mobs, which I think is kind of cool. It's got lots of block variations, and honestly, it does look kind of nice. Now, it does look a little bit um, washed off. I personally wouldn't say that's a bad thing, but it does, and I, also the fog makes it uh, harder to see from further away, which personally I don't like, but also it's got like borderless, la borderless glass, which looks really nice, you got like, as you can see, pump, like these have little flowers, which I think should be in vanilla, uh, you got all these blocks, honestly these actually do look pretty nice, you got the armors, which, the armors already look like they have the silence trim, the trims really don't look that different, honestly, the decorated pots are just like more orange, the cover blocks do look quite nice. I do like the iron bar design. But most of these look exactly like vanilla. And also this has animated foliage, as you can see. All these leaves, they're animated, which I think is a really nice touch. Same with the vines. The vines are animated. Any foliage is basically animated. Which is a really nice touch for the price. Um, so now we got the mobs. Now as you can see, the mobs all have like animations. 
which I think is kind of cool. Now, this does actually lower performance, though, and they also have uh, variations. Like, mobs that don't have variations have variations, which I think is kind of cool. Also, the spiders hang upside down, which is absolutely terrifying. I do not like that. So, yeah, you can see mobs have, like, little animations. The hoglin. The piglin. So, you can see their eyes move, and they have, like, a quiver, which is kind of cool. Piglin Brood has literal blood in his eye, which is not good. Now, the word already has animations, so it's essentially the same thing. The X level, the squid, and the glow squid. Look, actually kind of cool, they have a custom model. And yeah, this is a pretty cool texture pack. Okay, so this is the 4-bit texture pack. As you can see, everything is literally like 4 pixels. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what anything is. It's kind of, I mean, I don't know why we'd want to use this texture pack. It actually kind of makes everything look a lot tinier. I wouldn't really, really would not recommend this texture pack. It is technically the cheapest texture pack, but this really does mess with your depth perspective for a lot of the blocks. Like, it's just, it's like, why would you play with this texture pack? It's so, it's almost as if everything is being censored or something, like Minecraft Censored Edition, you know? Yeah, even the armor trims are really fucking ugly, and the decorated pots. Like, can you tell what decorated pot this is, guys? Leave it. Leave in the comments the name of this decorated pot. Oh God, look at the flowers, trees. Yo, this texture pack is just like makes everything literally four bit. Like, genuinely, why would you use this texture pack? Even the mobs look kind of bad. Like, okay, the mobs are not that bad. Okay, like a problem, a problem. And the warden, axolotl, glow squid, and squid. Yeah, I don't know why you would want to use this texture pack. 